Hey everyone, I'm Laurentio, and in this video I'm going to talk about all Jimmy Neutron games for the GBA. Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius is a really ugly GBA game. The game is a platformer where the usual goal of the level is to collect ship pieces, so it's not the same go from left to right type of platformer, but it has a unique objective. But even so, the game isn't that great. You have a big part where you can free roam which serves as a hub and you have to explore the hub to get to the side scrolling levels in order to get the pieces and you also get some shooting levels. Along the side scrolling levels you get a shrink gun and levers and teleports but overall I wouldn't recommend an adult to play the game. But it sure will be a lot of fun for a kid. Jimmy Neutron Jet Fusion is an action platformer. The game looks great and plays great. I couldn't finish the game because whenever I tried to finish it, the game glitched. But I watched the walkthrough on YouTube and I finished more than half of the game alone and watched the other half. And it's an action adventure platformer. You jump on stuff and shoot enemies with your laser gun. The game is beautiful responsive, you even get secondary weapons, which you'll never use because the laser gun is the most useful one anyway, but still you have alternatives. The game is okay, though as other reviewers state, the game can get very repetitive and annoying, forcing you to backtrack a lot since the objective is to find the keys within a level, and since all sections of a level look the same, you'll get lost and get annoyed by the task, but overall it's an okay game that will either get on your nerves or bore you, but it's still an okay game. I know it sounds redundant, but that's how the game made me and other reviewers feel. Jimmy Neutron Attack of the Twonkies is another good platformer. You get this gun to collect twonkies and you jump around, you even get boss fights, the game has plenty of environments and overall it's a pretty good platformer. One problem some reviewers had was that some jumps were difficult to make due to the fact that in some places the background is confusing and merges with everything. You don't know what is jumpable and what is just a background. Jimmy Neutron vs Jimmy Negatron is graphically impressive, but the gameplay is annoying, especially for casual gamers. The graphics use the Mode 7 technique to give you the impression of 3D, which is great, and the game is like the first one, having a hub level from where you have to search for the other levels. Okay, and here is where the game gets wrong. You have to collect stuff, and the game doesn't tell you where it is, forcing you to backtrack a lot and also some atrocious level designs ruin the experience. Here is a segment of a level, it's right at the beginning of the game and this tiny platform jumping is present all over the game. I, I don't recommend you play the game, but I recommend you watch the true Arceus's walkthrough of the game. I'll leave a link in the video description for the walkthrough. 